I am super excited about this video because I'm going to cover some of the coolest features in Google Sheets. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you take the time to watch from start to finish, I'm going to blow your mind with some of the things that you're able to do in Google Sheets. It'll be all about teaching you to master both the query function and the import range function. I'll show you how you can import multiple ranges from multiple different spreadsheets into one clean, easy to read data set on one single spreadsheet. I'll also show you how to run a query on that same set of data at the same time in the same formula. We have a ton to cover, so let's dig right in. All right, let's get right to it. I need to show you the import range function and the query function separately, so it'll be easy to make them work together later on. And actually, I think it'll be easier to show you the query function first, so let's start there. The query function in Google Sheets is defined by the fact that Google Sheets runs a Google Visualization API query language across data. That's probably in a different language for a lot of people. So in other words, it allows you to grab a range of data from one sheet and use query language to only select certain columns or items within a column. It allows you to group certain values as well. It acts as a pivot table, but without creating a pivot table. Let's go through an example because I think learning visually is sometimes better. In this example, I have a list of 100 registered voters in my county. It lists the city each voter is from and their age and gender. In column E, I'm going to create a query that is going to help me filter through some of this data. And yes, I know you might be thinking I could just set up filters, but in the spirit of knowing there are folks who will have use cases for this, I want to keep it as simple as possible. So here we go. In E1, I'm going to start out by typing equals query and an opening parentheses to start the formula. The first thing Google Sheets asks me for in this scenario is the data, which is the range of cells to perform the query on. I usually just highlight the area I want to run the query on, so I'm going to pick all of column A through C. Now I'll add a comma. It's now asking me what I want to query out of this data. I'm going to put a link in the description that will list all of the Google query language you may need to use. In this example, I'm only going to use select and where options. I'll show you the different options for select first. Let's say I want to make queries from both columns. In that case, I can just type an opening quote, then the word select, and add a space, and type a star. A star in query language means everything. Next, I'll just add a closing quote and a closing parentheses. Now when I hit enter, it should bring everything over from column A through column C. The cool thing is, if I make a change in any of the cells in column A through C, it'll automatically update in the query. I'll show you. Watch G2 when I change C2. The query function also allows you to select what columns you do and don't want to bring over. Let's say I don't really need the age of the voters. I can change the query from a star, which remember means everything, to A, comma C. Now it only includes city and gender. Next, let's say I only want to look at voters from Albany. I can do that by adding a space after the C and typing the word where. Add a space then type A for column A, then an equal sign. Now in single quotes, type the word Albany. Let's take it one step further, and then we'll move into import range. Let's say I only need to look at female voters in Albany. I can do that by adding a space after the closing single quote and type the word and, then C for column C. Now an equal sign, and the word female in single quotes again. It's important to remember here that these words are case sensitive, to what you have in the original columns. So since female is capitalized in column C, it needs to be capitalized in my query as well. Okay, so let's move on to import range. In summary, import range is used to import a range of cells from another specified Google spreadsheet into the Google spreadsheet you are currently working on. All you need is the URL of that spreadsheet and the range or string of cells that you want to import. Once I'm done showing you how to import a range, I'll show you how to use the query function and the import range function simultaneously to do some powerful stuff. One thing I do need to mention though is that you'll need edit access permission from the spreadsheet you are looking to import from first. Okay, so in the query example I was looking at 2020 voter information. In this example I have a master spreadsheet. I want to import data from 2020 and 2019 and bring the data together which are on two different spreadsheets. Let's bring 2019 data over first into our master voter information sheet. I'll start by typing equals import range with an opening parentheses. You'll notice that the first thing Google asks for is the URL. I never grab the full URL. 
I'm going to go over to the 2019 voter information spreadsheet and show you what you'll need to grab. I only grabbed the string of text between the backslash after the solo D and the backslash before the word edit. So I'll highlight that and then hit Control C to copy it. Now I can go back to my master voter information spreadsheet and paste it between an opening quote and a closing quote. The formula won't work without these quotations. Now I can close this portion of the function with a comma. Now Google Sheets is asking for the range string, or the range of cells you want to import. So if your sheet has multiple pages, you first need to identify what page to bring over, and then you need to identify what cells to bring over. It is important to be precise when typing this out. So inside of quotations again, I'm going to type the name of the page from the 2019 Voter Information Google Spreadsheet as 2019 Voter Information. I'm also going to add an exclamation point to let Google Sheets know that this is the name of the sheet. Now I'm going to tell it what range of cells to add with no space in between. I want all of the columns A through C. So I'll type A through C and then a closing quote and a closing parentheses. Now I can hit enter and it'll bring this information over. You're likely going to get an error message here. That just means you need to click on it and allow access. That should only happen the first time you do this. And really, you are going to want to run this import range function on both sheets before you go into the query function or adding them together. Now I want to add the 2020 information to this. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start out in column E though and bring it over initially that way. That way I know it works before I add it to my existing equation. And it'll require me to allow access again as well. So I'll type equals import range and an opening parentheses. Now I'll add an opening quote and then grab the URL string again from the 2020 voter information page. Copy and paste it and add it to my master voter information and add a closing quote and a comma. Now inside of quotes again, I'll type the name of the page from the sheet as 2020 voter information with an exclamation point and columns A through C. Now I'll add a closing quote and a closing parentheses and hit enter just like before. Click allow access. Now I have two sets of data on the same page, but this isn't my final version. I want to bring these two data sets together. So I'm actually going to copy my formula in E1 and add it to the formula in A1 with a few tweaks. So I'm going to copy everything but the equal sign. Now I'm going to go over to A1 and add a semicolon at the end of my equation and paste the rest of the formula that came from E1. But I'm not quite done yet. I need to tell Google Sheets that I'm looking at two ranges. I do that by adding a pointed parentheses before the first import range formula and after the end of the second import range formula. Now I can hit enter. You may notice something here. There are only 101 lines, which is how many I have on each of the 2019 and 2020 voter information sheets. There should be 200 lines here. There is, actually. You just need to scroll down to see the rest. Since I selected all of column A through C in my original import range formula, it's counting all 1,000 rows in that spreadsheet. I need to get a little bit more finite with the first formula. So instead of saying all of column A through C, I'm going to say A1 through C101. Now you can see I have over 200 lines. Pretty cool, but this next step will hopefully blow your mind. I'm going to show you how to run a query with these two imported ranges at the same time. So now in this example, I have all of 2019 and all of 2020 voter information combined, but I want to filter it with a query, just like we did before. It's pretty easy from here, actually. It just involves a bit of copying and pasting. But before I go over that last step, I am going to ask that you do just a few effortless things that will greatly aid in growing my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification. It seriously takes 1.5 seconds. I've timed it. Also, I know this is a huge goal, but holy smokes would it be awesome if I could get a thousand likes on this video. And just one more thing and I'll promise I'll get back to the video. Please leave a comment. I get excited for every single one. Alright, thanks for hanging in there for that. Let's get into the cool stuff. I already have an import range formula in cell A1 of the master voter information page here. All I need to do is add the query. I can do that by going to the very beginning of my formula and typing equals query and then adding an opening parentheses. Now I can go all the way to the end of my formula and add my criteria. Let's say I only want to look at the data from male voters in my county. I'll add a comma and then an opening quote and the word select, then a space and a star to indicate I want to select everything and then another space and the word where 
and then col or column 3 for the third column in the table, then a space and an equal sign. Now I'll add the word male in between single quotes and now a closing double quote and a 1 just like before. Now as long as my formula is closed with a final closing parentheses, it should work. If we want to look at female voters, we can just change the word male to female. I appreciate you watching this video. I really am hoping you learned something. If you did, please let me know in the comments how you're looking to use the import range or the query function. Also, if you have a video idea, please add that in the comment section as well, and I'll try to get you in my next video.